I have this breaking news for you, a strange story that we've been following all week. A woman who appears to be in distress knocking on doors in Montgomery County. Tonight, that mystery is unraveling at a shooting scene in that very same neighborhood. Now, investigators say there has been a shooting death in that neighborhood, a man who died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. That man, we're told, is the boyfriend of the woman in the mysterious video. So it's been a very busy day for investigators in that neighborhood trying to sort this all out. They've been in the Sunrise Ranch subdivision for hours hours now. Our Sophia Beausoleil joining us live from there right now with the breaking developments. Sophia? So authorities arrived to this home right behind me around 11 o'clock this morning after they received a welfare check for a 49-year-old male. Now, no one answered the door, so authorities had to break their way into the home, and that's when they found the male dead with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, investigators spent more than four hours at this home on Sunrise Pines Drive and found a suicide note. Detectives learned that he was the boyfriend of the 32-year-old woman seen just days ago running to different homes in the same neighborhood in the middle of the night. Now we're told she's safe and was not at the house when deputies arrived. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says they have made contact with her and she's with family in Dallas. There were rumors speculating that she was missing or a missing person, but the Sheriff's Office says that is not true. She is not related to any other, unfortunately. For, I know there's a lot of people that were up to that sent us flyers saying that this was their family member or they believed it was their family member or the public sent us lots of tips saying this was this missing person. This is not. This is a, a, a female that was never reported missing uh, previously and it was in a relationship with this male. I'm just glad that she's safe. We've been worried. I haven't been able to sleep right. I've just been constantly thinking about this girl. And now to know that she's safe, it's sad to hear that this guy's shot himself now, but um, I'm glad that it's all over. Now, I know there are still a lot of questions. For example, why did the woman have handcuffs or t what appeared to be ties around her wrists in that ring video? Authorities tell us they are still looking into that in the circumstances of the couple's relationship. Another question, how did she end up in Dallas with family? They're investigating that as well. And then also, how come nobody in the neighborhood knew who these people were? Well, we're told by neighbors and by police that she and the uh, boyfriend moved here maybe two to three months ago. And they were possibly renters. So still a lot of questions, but this is still an ongoing investigation. Reporting live from Montgomery County, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.